Just got back from picking this up. Wheel horse 3108. projects like I need more holes in my head but it was free and it's a garden tractor if it was just another riding mower I probably would have passed I already have a couple in the back 40 that need repair but this thing was just too heavy duty and cool to pass up let me get some of the junk out of the back of the truck and we'll get a better look at it Tires are all rotten, of course, but they held air long enough to get it in the back. Still has the Mo deck. Actually, mostly a good cleaning. Looks like there's a little rust under the paint that's going to need cleaning up. Still has a battery. Here's a pro tip for you. When you forget to, to bring a come along, a ratchet strap will work. <laughs> it's really slow, but it worked. Big old Kohler tin. Not frozen, has compression. It's a heavy duty front suspension on that thing. And actual king pins. And a big old axle pivot. Interesting drive system. So the belts run down to this set of pulleys, and then from there to the mower deck. And you can adjust the tension up there. Huh. Test. Test one. Huh. 
Well, I'm sure this one's going to make a pretty lengthy project. It will be a while before I can get to it, though. Got too much other things going on right now. Anyway, just thought I'd share that. Figured I'd get a little closer look at it. Now that it's out of the truck. I don't know, I guess it's an addiction, you know. Just can't pass up old iron. I found the manual to download a PDF. I haven't looked at it yet. All I can assume this test, it's a momentary test switch. I'd assume that just uh, gives you a chance to check the voltage on your battery. Although turning the key over would do that, so maybe not. I'll figure it out. It's gear oil. I don't think I've ever seen a dipstick on a rear end. I mean, if it was hydrostatic, it would make sense. But uh, just gear oil. Uh, there used to be instructions on there. Oil's full. It's old, but it's full. Oh, there's a year. 07. <laughs> so maybe the box was right. It was about 10 years. Figuring the battery might have been a year or two old by the time it quit. Or was parked. Whatever. Yeah, this thing's really intact. It just needs a, a really good cleaning and a good service. Maybe some belts. Look how heavy duty this stuff is. These guys weren't messing around. small tractor. This is pretty impressive. I have a an older Bowling's uh, tube frame tractor and this thing is comparable to it in sturdiness. Thanks for watching.